right, here we go. We've got West Great River Ranch Resort and Dude Ranch. This is located on 60, State Road 60 in Florida, between Lake Wales and Yeehaw Junction. If you know where Yeehaw Junction is, it's just north of Okeechobee. And this is a full dude ranch. They have everything from cabins, glamping and teepees, Conestoga wagons, trail cars, small cabins, larger cabins. They have campsites for RVs. They have nothing but tent sites. They also have platform tents, both glamping style and regular platform tents um, if you don't own anything yourself. So we'll take you through the road in. It's a three mile road that gets you all the way into the camp resort itself. And then from there, we will show you some of the sites and some of the fun activities that you can have. From what we understand, they are adding a water park in the next two years and also a drive through safari. Not sure when that is going to open or be built, but right now there is a large sign on the way in. Coming in with an RV camper, you will stop here and then they will escort you by golf cart. In fact, the woman in the gate right now is the one that took us to our site on Friday. There's a picture of the eventual safari that will be here. and Conestoga wagons for village. And then we are coming up behind the horse stables is the rodeo. Now the Westgate River Ranch Rodeo is the longest running weekly rodeo in the country. Time. Then we come up to Adventure Park. Now Adventure Park has lots of things to do. Miniature golf, cornhole, um, there's an arcade, there's ping pong tables, there's pool tables in the back of these buildings. Is So once you are brought to your camper, or your campsite, they will bring you up here for your registration to go ahead and do your final check-in and payment type area. There's also the cattle company um, Chop House and Bar. It's the fanciest restaurant here on property. You have to have registration Re reservations um, for dinner, but they do serve lunch and breakfast. But this is coming into our village shop area. Now, village shops have several different things in the area. Let's pan around so you can see. Um, it starts with the general store. Now, the general store has pretty much everything that you would need, including some food choices. There's some sandwiches salads um, they do offer some pastries for breakfast and then we have the Western store um, boots hats shirts those kind of things they do have jeans in there and then we come up to the roasted coffee corral um, they also sell ice cream in there it is Starbucks coffee so you can get your fancy lattes and frappuccinos they also have an escape room and a working post office. And then up here on the right, you will see East Corral. That is definitely the area that is larger than I expected. We took a five mile bike ride the other day and it just went on forever. Um, but that is the landowners of Westgate River Ranch back there. 
individual sites. That is the canal that takes you up to the Kissimmee River behind the Smokehouse Grill. This is one of the restaurants that had changed from what was online. So it only offered a barbecue buffet. Um, I enjoyed it. Steve wasn't too thrilled with it. But this is also the area that there is a marina back here. There is a marina store. They offer airboat rides and then the swamp buggy tour which we did yesterday and that was a lot of fun behind that is a catch and release pond where they offer cane poles for free you know all you have to do is go in and grab them okay so we talked about the steer and everything that they have so we took a little side trip over here you can see the babies right there that we mentioned earlier all right this little guy which he isn't really little but this gray steer right there I think it's a steer but it's a mama and I think she's probably the prettiest one out here just love her color but there's all different kinds they're sitting here eating <coughs> probably very upset with me that I'm bothering her look there that looks like a teenage one right there and some more babies And then the shooting range is right over there and it's funny to watch these guys because the guns keep going off but they're not even moving i guess they're used to it all right so we have just turned into the primitive camping and rv sites there is the chapel that we just went by and this side of the road only has a few sites they are um, large sites and they back up to the cattle so it starts with site number 36 right here 37 38 And 40 so there are 40 total sites for RVs again those are water and electric only no sewer all right so that is the skeet range back there along with archery right here all of this is offered through the camp store over on our left just a bit um, they offer skeet shooting archery and pellet gun shooting um, all different kinds and pricing depending on if you are staying here or not so there's a small camp store the general store that we went by earlier is the one that you really want to go to if you really need a lot of things this just has a few odd, odds and ends like firewood and some candy and ice cream. Here are the bath houses. The bath houses are pretty updated. They're cleaned several times a day. Um, I've been very happy with those. And then here's the other half of the shooting range. This comes up to the dump station. Now your RV sites do not have sewer hookups here. All you get is water and electric, but they do offer the dump station for anybody that needs it. And then this road here brings us straight into the glamping area. The glamping is large platform tents that have king or queen beds in them. Um, mini kitchens things like that you can see on that sign there um, they do not allow anybody in there you have to have a pass to get through that gate so that is your first site of glamping okay so we've turned around and the glamping area is behind us and this is the primitive tent sites 
this area is pretty cool if you're tent camping. It looks like you just come in and drop your tent wherever you can find space. They have water that's available in two different locations and we've seen a lot of people leaving this morning. It's already actually Sunday afternoon so a lot of the campers have left today but you can see that a lot of them are just set up in groups. There's plenty of space. And then here are some sites. So we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and site number one. So those are RV sites. Again, they have water and electric only. So sites two, three are pull through sites. There are several others. You can see that this is site number 10 right in here. Which is also pull through. We are getting ready to turn right. Here is site number 9 on the corner. primitive camping and then up here comes up to we're gonna go just around this corner really quickly and you will see that across from the primitive camping are the platform tent sites and we had shown you these from the other side but these are all surrounding a tr an oak tree in the center and they've put the platform tents up and these are for people that really don't have the camping equipment but just need a tent. The sites have fire pits with them, picnic tables, grills. This is site 15 right here. And then this is 23. This is us. This is our site. It's the only sideways site along this road. Um, but they went ahead and made the site right under the oak tree, which was really nice. Site number 24. 25. 26. 27. Alright, hope you enjoyed our tour of Westgate River Ranch. We have been here Martin Luther King weekend. Um, this is our third day. We are really enjoying it and we recommend that you do the same. Go ahead and book your activities before you come. Make sure you check out all of the different activities and things to do and we wish you happy camping. Alright, see you later.